Good morning, this is Bethany Yamas. I would like to speak to you this morning about my response to our video, Speaking in Tongues, that we just watched. The uh, first question was, um, what were the different perspectives of four different areas? The first one was mainstream English, and there were a lot of comments, and it's mixed, uh, mixed comments about it. I remember one gentleman was saying, you know, it's like the Tower of Babel, uh, talking about how the, the tongues were confounded. And another gentleman um, talked about uh, how when children enter into our school system with any language other than English, great, um, great pains are taken to exterminate the language and to teach them English only. And then later, when they are at college age, to spend millions of dollars so they can become bilingual again or multilingual. And so those are a couple of different things that I picked out of there. And um, the next one was about the politicians. And I remember that there was one politician that was talking about preserving, we have to preserve America, that it's English only. And if we lose our language, then we lose our identity. And then um, also there's a, a, statistics that, a statistic that was shown up there that by the year 2025, that um, one out of every three, about one out of every three students would come to school with a language other than English. And then um, also it was talking about the San Francisco School Board and it talked to, that there was a gentleman that made a proposition to offer bilingual education to all students in, in the district. And in the end, there was a unanimous vote um, and they did pass it, which was wonderful and is very encouraging. Um, the next area, um, were the, it was the area of the teachers and I saw the teachers were proud to be bilingual and I noticed that they definitely took their job seriously and they wanted to teach the students um, to value the language and to become bilingual and that was their goal and they were definitely passionate about what they did. The last area was the area of the parents and the parents again they were divided. Um, some parents were all for it some parents were not, and uh, there was one father in a meeting, and he said, well, where's the English? I, I can teach my daughter Spanish at home, but where's the English? And even after another parent tried to explain to him how the model worked, that it was heavy Spanish at the beginning, and then it gradually introduced the second language, he still was like, well, where's the English? He just couldn't get it. He couldn't understand the concept. And so I, I just think of the other parents, too. There were other parents that were super proud of their children for being bilingual and definitely encouraged it. Um, definitely very different perspectives, and it, it's just like I said the last time, you're either really for dual language or you're not. And I was very encouraged by the film because I felt that uh, we're definitely getting more uh, voice out in, in mainstream America about it, and hopefully we can see some changes affected um, because of this. Um, and I think that, that um, their opinions are based on specifically on their schema, on their background, on what they know. And if you don't know bilingual education, if you don't know other cultures, other languages, then you're afraid of it. And if you have been exposed to it, uh, based on your experience with it, you're either for it or against it. Um, what would I say to administration that was new to dual language? What I would say to everyone, don't judge it. Go, watch it in action, decide for yourself. So I truly believe that anybody that watches dual language in action will absolutely become converted and um, truly become an advocate for it. Thank you so much for watching my video.